Alright, I'm going to be teaching animaticity in a ring, section 15.4. Um, there's four rules that you need to apply to. One, it has to be a ring. Two, it has to be planar. But that is a C. to have both lone pair electrons and pi bonds, or pi bonds. Here's an example. Cyclobutane, cyclohexane, cyclopentane, Cyclopropane. Pro protein. Okay. Now we have to look at the fact is it planar? It's assumed. But does it have lone pair electrons or pi bonds? And no, it doesn't. All these are saturated. Now this one, these do cyclobutene as bone pairs on each one of its carbons. And so the cyclobenzene. And so, but this cyclopentene <laughs> does not, and neither does cyclopropane. Um, what about rings with charges? Um, anions, such as this one, satisfies the rule of having lone pairs as well as pi bonds on all the carbons. Cations, such as this nitrogen, does as well because it has a positive charge but still has lone pairs on each one of its carbons. The fourth rule is Huckel's Law. N plus two. Huckel's rule states how many um, hydrogens need to be in a are in a ring structure. So let's check some of these ones out in examples. This not this structure which we had over here determining whether it was a, a charges with rings could have them. So we have one, 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 one. There's four plus you count both lone pair electrons. So we add that up, that's six. Using Huckel's equation, four n plus two equals six. Yes, this is aromatic. What about this one? You've got one here, one here, and you only use two of the lone pair electrons, even though there's three. You act like those don't exist. There's six. No, there's four. There's four. One, two, three, four. Four n plus two equals four. So it does not. This is anti aromatic. And this molecule here has one, two, three, and boron does not have any lone pair electrons or pi bonds, so it is non aromatic. And that's about it. You have to remember the four principles it must be a ring. It has to be planar, but that is always assumed. So you just assume that if it's a ring, that it's planar. And it has to have lone pair electrons or pi bonds on each of the carbons. And Huckel's rule states 4n plus 2 
and if they equal each other, then it's aromatic. If it's not planar or doesn't have a ring, it's always going to be non-aromatic. If it has the lone pair electron, it doesn't satisfy rule number three, it's going to be anti-aromatic. And if it satisfies all the rules, it'll be aromatic. That's it.